Yes, a quick hello and an update from the Nomad Town. Greetings to everyone. It's the last day of April and we are having a celebration tonight, dancing into the May. And um, yeah, so a bunch of people have already arrived yesterday and we have had nice sauna and good food. And so now it's raining. So maybe we have the fire in the in the um, in this black tent, the German uh, Boy Scout tent, Kota, Kote, very nice black tent design. Um, yeah, yesterday was very interesting. Um, afternoon we had a pop up bicycle repair thingy, also where people could get free bikes and just get help in, um, you know, fixing them to be ready to use. And yeah, that was really nice, encouraging to to see on the one hand how much skills people have. So a lot of people who came just helping, um, very skilled people. And then also like at the same time, a lot of people who had totally no idea on how to fix bicycles, even the most simple stuff. And somehow interesting to also see like I was surprised everyone was like, ah, oh, it's so easy. Yeah, well, yeah, it is so easy. Bicycle is really easy to take care of. And it's kind of nice. It's like self-explanatory. So if you, for example, want to, you know, have a weird sound in the back rear, rear hub um, and you can just take it apart. It will just tell itself how it works. And just be careful when taking things apart <laughs> and knowing how to put them back together. But with uh, zero gear hub bikes that's really easy so see how the brakes work for example and clean them and loop them hmm. yeah so that was yesterday that was really nice and um, then also like long conversations last into the last night um a lot about yeah reality and the common ground like how do we do this to to live together and have very different beliefs like how to focus our attention on on prioritizing the importance acknowledging and celebrating the common ground that we have no matter what we believe you know even if we believe the earth is flat or round what does it matter what does it matter towards our values how to live what does it matter towards our yeah, beliefs on what is what is good, being good to each other and the world. What does that mean? This kind of big belief differences on. Um, yeah, that we have the common ground under our feet, right? We are all still born naked, and we have all slipped into this situation somehow. Yeah, so long conversations about this. Uh, a lot of like, yeah, partly also peacemaking, I guess when there is like kind of conflicts coming inside group or between people um, because we believe fundamentally something different and and this feeling that like well when we talk about it we get to know not only each other but also ourselves much better so yeah really good to talk yeah what else um yeah, exciting to kind of open the black kitchen, the outdoor summer kitchen today. Um, and I, it might be in the tent. So anyhow, um, and yeah, that was basically it. Yeah, it's getting a bit warm in the yurt, even though it's now around zero. But like keeping the stove on here in the yurt for cooking for food for many people in these warm temperatures outside <laughs> because in the summer now uh, in the spring now we can have like in the sun you know over 20 degrees easily so snow is melting but there is still some snow in some places i can show you let's take you outside and there you can see how it looks yeah here we are been working on a fireplace and there's another tent put up where people are sleeping in the moment. Yeah, looking out of the spaceship. <laughs> the yurt is like a funny traveler, funny travel machine. Picks you up where you are and then it teaches you how to 
how to live in it, how to navigate it, how to enjoy enjoy life in a very different different way. And yeah, I tend to forget how special that might be. I mean, of course, it's a huge privilege uh, to have this opportunity to even choose, make this step. Um, and on the other hand, it's like, you know, the biggest step is not the living in the year. The, the biggest step is to, to understand, or for me, it was to understand that I have no choice but understand that the world is ecocentric. That um, that I have no choice about like, do I want to? I mean, basically the choice is: do you want to live or do you rather want to die? And for me, the choice: do you want to live? Means okay, then I need to do everything I can. I have to devote my life towards the rest of life, the whole global community of life in all its diversity, because I depend from from this on this and and vice versa. So I have this huge responsibility because of my opportunities, or we have, I think. Uh, but I want to talk about myself, so... Um, or I can only talk about myself. I think that I have this huge responsibility to, to share this privilege, make it accessible somehow. And I don't know how is the best way to do it. Um, do a lot of communications, a lot of writing, but mostly like emails and not this big, um, I don't know, social media stuff uh, there's this youtube channel as you can see so i'm wondering should i maybe do some more audio because i feel that a lot of the stuff that i do the picture doesn't really matter as much as to justify this you know um amount of energy resources time like imagine this whole video could have been in your pocket and you have like one headphone on and sit on your bicycle but you could still get the same information, I would believe. Yeah, let me know what you think. I'm really curious because creating screen time doesn't feel right. At the same time, I feel like this is where I am. This is where we are. I don't know. Um, please, please let me know. I'm, I'm really curious. What do you think? Like, would you be happy to be a subscriber on, on, on a potential um, podcast uh, channel also? Yeah. Um, eight minutes soon up. That's it for today. I wish you all a good time. Take good care. Happy May. And, um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, anything. Hello.